Rappel. I know Rappel, Rappel's very aware of the, um, usually Rappel's the one on the Odin side, um, defending against, um, or, or wanting to use Ragnarok, but I think he's going for the town center just in case, just in case, uh, Ragnarok is incoming. He wants to make sure that doesn't actually happen. Oh my god! Oh my god! Rappel is on another fucking level right now. Did you see that? As soon as the Fimble Winter finished, he knew that Frost was coming in, so he immediately separated his army. Alrighty, welcome everybody to the first semifinal. Technically, this is the second semifinal. It's the bottom semifinal in the bracket, but this is the first semifinal to be played. Um, okay, I'm sorry that that we got we got Rapple, two of the top Norse players here, people. Rapple against Soup. We got Rapple here in the blue playing Odin. We'll go look at Soup here in just a second. I was a little taken aback. I was like, whoa, why is he killing a cow already? I'll tell you why he's killing a cow already because this is actually we're on Mega Random, yes, but this is one of the um, water map Mega Randoms, and as you can see, um, with you know either on the mini map or just on screen, this is one of the um, kind of sacred pond type of a styles of of map it's like if you're not familiar with sacred pond it's like the it's like mediterranean but with a super tiny little pond in the middle instead of a larger lake or a sea or whatever you want to call it anyways <laughs> um okay so we got let's look at raffle real quick raffle again he's playing odin i think he already used, did he already use his great hunt he did already use great hunt on his cows he's got goldies going he's got a handful of uh three bills on on wood going Typically, there's enough fish on this style of Mega Random map. There's enough fish to get six fishing ships out, sometimes nine, sometimes nine. Um, anyways, yeah. <clears throat> so you don't necessarily, you can't necessarily go for a big old fat fish boom. When is Shadowfax against Matrus? That's on um, Sunday, Hells. That's on Sunday at 20 GMT. Anyway, so four on, yeah, four on wood, and, um, you know, Rapple might get five on wood just to make sure he gets the nine fishing ships out. We'll see. Actually, there's maybe a little bit more fish here in this um, little pond than I initially thought. Usually there's about six, sometimes nine fishing spots. Looks like there's a lot more. Three, 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 three. There's, there's a lot more fish here. Interesting. Um, that is going to be, that's going to elicit a whole lot more water play, in my opinion, here. Um, it's one thing to kind of eh, not go water, give up water for six fishing spots, but there's a there's a lot of really good um, fish here in, in this pond. It's pretty daggum full. Anyways, okay, let's go over to Soup's side. Soup is playing Loki, so we got, uh, before I forget, Matt, God intros, there we go. We got Loki against Odin here. Um, Soup is of the opinion that Loki is um, the best, uh, the best Norse, in Norse mirrors. Norse Wars, he is of the opinion that Loki is the best god to choose on Mega Random. Um, anyway, so he he ends up going for Loki. He knows that Rappel's going to go for Odin, so, um, you know, he wanted to go into that matchup specifically. There's the resources and everything. Six fishing ships for Rappel, almost nine out for Soup, although Soup is housed. Oh, tisk, tisk, tisk. Dude, I can't even tell you guys how blown away I am, how frequently these top players are getting housed. Soup, we've seen Rappel, we've seen Mattress, we've seen Shadow, we've seen everybody get housed, have issues with being housed. It's so insane now. I think it's completely insane. Anyway, so um, Soup decides to build, this is peculiar, Soup decides to build fairly aggressively. He's not building in his base, he's on the opposite side of the map there. Well, kind of halfway across the map, I suppose you could say. Rappel just clicked up through Freya. Where's his temple? Bam, the archer blows. So we got Freya coming in, and about five seconds later, ten seconds later, we got Heimdall coming in um, for for Soup over here in the red. And yes, um, yes, Grass Groom, we already have a second dock up for Soup. Not sure if he's going to drop a third dock and fight hard for water. Maybe he'll go for kind of the chaos approach, go Heimdall aggression, whilst also fighting and defending his own water. We shall see, we shall see. Anyways, um, yeah, we got the got the ravens already out. We have two two wood choppers, wood spots for soup, which is very nice to mitigate that uh, forest fire potential. Um, it's definitely very viable for Loki to do so with the cheaper with the cheaper ox carts. Speaking of cheaper ox carts, 
Yeah, Raffle sees... Wow, look at all this hunt right here. I didn't even notice that. That is just a dream come true. Look at all that hunt. This is a super high hunt map, I think, actually. All this hunt right here... Stoop's even going for a second temple here. Just, I think Raffle sees it. Very nice, nicely done by Raffle. He kind of repositions his raven there. I'm pretty sure Raffle sees this. I'm pretty sure Raffle sees this. Boom, he's going to see the longhouse right away. Both these boys are um, up classical age. Raffle, not quite a house, but he's getting close to being caught there. Drops a longhouse in base. K. Okay. We do have some long boats already coming out on water, but uh, this is going to be a little bit crazy. We're going to have to jump back and forth between water and uh, and land. Here's the thing real quick I want to mention. So soup is building up on this left-hand side of the map, right? Right on, right in the direct, not direct line of sight, but the, kind of on the same side as the gold mine of Rappel. And Rappel's next gold mine is like way over here on the back side. Really, uh, really fairly sketchy, so... Soup is uh, Rappel's looking much better on water. Already gets a longboat kill. Very nice. So Rappel can, if Rappel takes over water, that would be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful with all the uh, all the fish in here. But he needs to be careful with the gold situation, man. He needs to be really careful with the gold situation. Yeah, 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 dude. He's killed so many uh, so many longboats Yo, already my for Soup. Dragon, sick, dude. Much obliged, noxious. I'm casting at the moment. Yo, Thank my you. Hero. Hell yeah! Moito obrigado, Metallo. There we go. Okay. What? I think. Oh my God! I think Rapple. I think Rapple used his. Oh! <laughs> Rapple used. What a forest fire fail! That one tree right there. Rapple used his forest fire on the one tree. Unbelievable! So lo uh, so soup lost a tree, and that's it. He just repositions his units. It barely does any any um, HP damage right there. No problem. Let's go look at the gold situation. Raffle's got enough defense going. A he's got he's got four uh, four hearse here there. Enough throwing axemen as well. Soup is soup is looking a little bit sketchy here, man. Um, Raffle is looking. He already he has the um, initiative on water. He's killed more units on water and on land. He's, he's looking like he has a better army on land. His population is way ahead of Soup. Soup's at 65 population compared to 79 for Rapple with another uh, building coming out. Okay, sure. Valkyrie coming in, getting a couple of Vil picks actually right here. Check it, dude. Check it out. Weak HP Vil right there. Careful there, Soupy boy. Careful there, Soupy boy. What are you looking at, Soup? If you're not looking here, he's looking there. Dude, this is... Oh! Okay, the Valk spawn is sick, but there's a lot of hearse here there, man. There's what? One, two, three, four, five. Five hearse here there for uh, Rapple. Nice macro with, for Soup uh, getting the Valk around the throwing axeman, but, you know, Rapple focus firing down the hearse here. Boom. Very well done by Rapple. 82 to 59 population. This is looking more and more sketchy for Soup. Soup decides to go back on water actually a little bit. So he kind of elicits this reaction from Rapple on water. Or sorry, on land. And now he's going to try and take back water real quick. I don't know. Rapple already has longboats there. And now he's just going to lose his second temple. This, this, is, this is sketchy. Rapple plays perfectly, says ZD Raven. Or is that... Z Draven? Is that what it is? I don't know. Dude, I know his games against Yoshi, his last couple of Fibble Winter series against Yoshi have been not flawless, but pretty dadgum close to flawless, man. He's been playing super exceptional um, recently in these Norse mirrors. He's definitely looking at that um, first place prize, baby. That's for sure. Yeah, the score difference is big, man. The score difference is big. I think it's because of the KD, um, the kill to death ratio, honestly. Soup has already lost quite a few longboats, for example. He lost the fight. Um, he lost that fight on land that we just saw a couple of minutes ago. Um, Soup's just losing. Dude, he's losing He's losing units. He's losing villagers. He's down on... Okay, he's only down by one villager, but still. He's, he lost a couple of villagers to the Valkyrie. The forest fire was a fail by Rapple. Ha ha! How about that, Draven? Rapple is not flawless, otherwise he would not have used his silly forest fire on one tree, for crying out loud. <laughs> we're used to imagine- Oh, Snowcone, what a burn. Snowcone says, we're used to imagining forest fire anyway. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, that is comment of the year, man. Oh my god, that is comment of the century. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> yeah, if you've watched Bleak cast uh, any any Norris games, imagine forest fire. Imagine forest fire. Imagine furnace fire, dude. Seriously, imagine forest fire right here. More, all those dead builds would just be instantly dead, dude. And Soup just calls it bro. Soup just calls it rapple overpowering. Um, dude, Soup. In game number one, Soup, sorry, Rapple has got his shit down, dude. He's got his shit down. He gets the, he, he positions his Raven. He positions his Raven over the forward build of Soup. He finds it and he, you know, gets the line of sight. He, um, initially he goes on to water. He gets the, gets the, gets the, gets the advantage, whatever, he gets the advantage on water. He's, um, he's fishing the entire time. And simultaneously, he gets the slow preparation onto, um, onto land. And, you know, after that, he's, what the hell happened, man? Soup was just down by population beak time. Basically through it. Yeah, like, after, after forest fire, he was just way down on population the whole time, man. Their eco numbers were fairly similar. Not not that big of a deal, but just the military unit difference, man. Whoa. Wow, wow, wee wow. Yeah, total resources that definitely helped Rapple, but still, he was he was still had a larger population earlier on here when uh, the resource discrepancy was not as was not as substantial, right? Double double kill to death ratio for Rapple. Brutal. <laughs> that pretty much summarizes it, dude. Brutal. I'm very what surprised. What the fuck is going on here? What's up, Snark? Um, um Aiden speaks like six languages, but his Aussie accent is terrible. <laughs> I know. I know, dude. I don't know why I can't do it on an Australian accent. Like I can say, mate, trip on the body, mate. Might, might. I don't know. Anyways, okay. That was just super strong play from Rapple, man. That was super strong play from Rapple. That's all I gotta say, dude. That's all I gotta say. Very well done, man. Starting this series very, very strong. Very, very strong. All right, let's jump over people. Alrighty, welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome to, um, whoops, I switched up their gods. Whoops, 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 whoops. There we go. Sorry, I, I messed up their gods here. Um, yeah, we have an interesting little, um, game here. Apple's actually the one. So this is, this is the home map pick of Soup because he lost game number one, right? So Soup picks the map. Rapple goes for Loki here. What? Now, by all means, Loki, um, Loki on Mediterranean or um, a map similar to Mediterranean, like aggressive water, like we saw in the previous game, um, Loki not super strong in situations like that. But there is there is, you know, potential there with Heimdall and everything. Anyways, we won't get into that. Um, Loki on on a map like Midgard or Heimdall, where um, the fish, it's, it's just completely different. Um, you can, the aggression that you can potentially put on, and soup is one plane through, by the way, but let's talk about Loki for a second. Since there are two gold mines, you can go aggressive by all means and have a really strong rush, really strong aggression because you can complement your economy with fish, right? And especially on a map like Midgard, it takes a long time for your opponent to get um, boats over to your side to start pressuring your fish. It's a little bit different on, on Anatolia, but Anatolia does have the two sides of water. So that does kind of complicate things, right? It does kind of complicate things with um, your longboat numbers, your, your arrow ship numbers, I suppose you could say. Anyway, so um, uh, having said that, there's there is a lot of potential here for Loki on a map like this to get some really nice aggression going and um, uh, Is he gonna do it? I know I know we see five on five on um, wood Rapples all Sark headed up to the left hand side soup's already got a dock there though He's got two docks on this uh, on this top left side So it'll be interesting to see where Rapple drops a dock on that left side Soup is going Thor people soup is going Thor 
There we go. So this is Soup's home map, and he decides to go for Thor. Um, Thor, I could, I think you could easily argue that Thor probably the strongest Norse god here because of the really good eco. Um, you can save the gold mine if you want to. There's two gold mines in your base, so defending against the aggression is a lot much more viable. I personally, as a Thor player, still struggle against, um, I still struggle against Loki aggression, but, you know, again, theoretically, this, this should be a pretty decent map to play, um, defensively on as Thor and, you know, be able to handle, um, aggression, Heimdall aggression and whatnot, right? Fight on water, you know, really good eco, blah, 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 blah. There's Soup, Soup, uh, getting a, kind of a, kind of a funny position temple over here. Um, Soup has no presence over here on the right-hand side for water. He's just trying to completely overtake the left side. And he does build a conservative temple, you could say. Okay, Secrets of the Titans is less expensive. That relic is really not that important. Um, I can say real quick, Soup has decent gold mines. Both of them are back, but they're also pretty exposed. Like this guy over there, that is, that's pretty far away. Unless there's like a tree line right there in the, in the, in the dark, in the fog of war. That's those. That's the, the the you know that that right side gold mine a little bit sketch. Maybe that's an opp there's an opportunity for uh, Rappel to pressure that there. Anyways, um, so Rappel does get a does get a dock over here on this left side. Looks like he's bringing his old Sark back to maybe drop a temple. Come. Do not come, Chinchilla Loco. Chinchilla Loco. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, okay, Rappel does get another temple. He did, he ended up making it going for double old Sark there. It gets another temple going. Um, we got five minute advance for Soup. Going up through Freya, is Rappel already advancing? He is not. Rappel's going to advance for Seti after this uh, this dwarf here, okay? Yeah, with the defensive temple, the conservative passive temple, no surprise to see him going for, uh, going for, going for, going for, for Seti. Really good fish numbers over on the right-hand side for Rappel, um, getting a second dock up. He already, again, he already has the left side dock up which is nice. It's only one dock, so it's, you know, all he's all he wants to do here is fish a little bit and create some longboats to probably just, you know, complicate the game or uh, Soup to, to try and to try and fight for his side of water. Soup is still not over on this side of water, the right side of water at all, and Rappel sees it. Rappel sees it. So it'll be interesting to see what what ends up what actually happens here. Um, is Soup going to go just straight straight up go on to go on the land and try and pick off that dock and then go for you know, maybe go for go for Rappel's base if he were planning on playing defensively. If you were planning on playing defensively, you would think that you know he would build inside of his base instead of here. This is, I think this is kind of an awkward place to build. It's an awkward place to build. He's really far away from his from his base. I like that he's going to this gold mine first. It's the it's the more exposed gold mine first. So the in the long run, that one's a little bit you know more safe. Anyways. It's a weird position to build, in my opinion. He's far away from Rappel's base. Um, you know, sure, a forest fire here could open up the front side of Rappel's base, which could be good. And there we go. There is the forest fire. He had much better forest raid fire this time. Party! Thanks for the raid, Punkstar. Welcome, welcome, welcome from Punkstar's, uh, from Punkstar's channel. Hey, a maiden strip. That's right. Chinchilla, chinchilla loco. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so Soup is not building in his base, so his eco is very exposed, and he's not building very aggressively. That's kind of my point, is he's not building very aggressively, so it's going to take a little bit of time for him to push the issue, really start, you know, really start pressuring um, Soup or Rappel here. Okay, he does go end up going for three longboats. Okay, this is kind of the funny thing, though, is that three longboats, it's not enough to pick off a dock that shoots arrows, so... That's kind of the part of the detail about Anatolia is that there's like the two sides of fish. Which one are you going to go for? Which one are you going to fight? It got, starts getting complicated. Soup's going to just go land uh, with his with his land units and pick off the dock. Okay, I can I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. Hell says, I think the power of Thor here is being able to go both sides easily. Soup didn't take advantage of that. That's a good call, Hells. That's a very good call. Like I said with, uh, but, 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 you know, having said that though, Hells, you know, there is value in trying to just overtake one side of water quickly. Rappel hasn't even built a single, um, longboat over on this side. Sure, you know, sure, Rappel's just, he doesn't really need to. He got value out of the fish over on that side. And plus he is, you know, he, um, obligates Soup to invest some resources to stop that, but... You know, he's just, uh, Rappel's just going, in fact, Rappel's kind of playing the Thor style in all sincerity. 
right? If you think about it, Rappel's the one who didn't necessarily go both sides of water, but he's taken over the full right side of water on his own, and he forces the reaction from his opponent, um, Soup, on this side. Anyways, not a lot of not a lot of land uh, water action between these boys. Just a couple of long boats. Soup doesn't even touch that side. But that is a good call. I agree with you. I agree with you, Hells. But I do find strategic value in. Um, um, there is strategic value, I suppose. Oh, on here, spawn. The, you see what I'm saying here? Nice. Gets a couple of vil picks here. Boom. Two vil picks. Maybe gonna get a third, third, three, three vil picks there. Nice. Idle time. That was awkward retreat there for soup. That was really awkward retreat. Dude, Rapple heads straight to the next wood patch, and boom, more idle economy for uh, for soup. He's getting a little counterattack going right here. But you see kind of what I'm saying here is that he's, he built so far away that he has to walk way over here to the docks. He has to walk way over here to the base of Rappers. Stoop just built so far away, man. I like the tower upgrade. I like the tower upgrade. They're undefended, but still, I like the... I you kidding me? A second Onagar spawn in the base of Rappel. Are you kidding me? That's another couple of dead villagers. One, two, three, four, five. That's what? Five? Five additional dead villagers for Soup. He's down five villagers total um, compared to Rappel, 23 to 29. They both have equal, um, they have equal fishing ship numbers. Real quick, going for the... It looks like Rappel has Hall of Thanes. He does, so those little speedy hers here are going to be able to... Honestly, he could just pick off that, that tower right there. Pressure the gold mine indefinitely. Same thing with the, with uh, this rap, uh, tower right there. You see what I'm saying? Soup kind of built very awkwardly, in my opinion. His army is so out of position, can't help defend him here, and it takes him too long to put the aggression on Rappel himself. So now he has to walk his slow hearse here all the way over here. Back here, rather. Um, this is just amazing for Rappel. This is amazing for Rappel, and I think it's just hilarious. I think it's very hilarious that... Um, in, in the, the first the first series that I casted this tournament was actually in round one it was actually soup against Rappel and soup it was a very fast win for soup soup won two to zip boom boom quick 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 succession so this is the rematch um eventually we got the rematch in the semifinals which is eh, you know it's a little dramatic right it's a little dramatic uh rap going for a midtown center okay anyway so this is actually the reverse is happening it was soup who was defending with Loki um, and eventually he got the Hall of Thanes upgrade. He was able to go create a whole bunch of chaos and havoc on Rappel's side of the map and his economy and everything. And now the, you know, the turntables essentially here, right? Now it's Soup's economy that's just getting, um, Hell's Ravaged. Kind of. And Soup's having to play defense. Soup's having to play defense, man. Rappel playing close to perfect again here. Crazy. You know, in all fairness though, Mr. Draven, in all fairness, Soup's kind of allowing grapple to do whatever he wants right again i'm i'm being critical again of this building um where soup is building his buildings here his military buildings i think it's just a weird position i mean eventually that'll help him there is one silver lining there are gold mines over here so he will eventually you know have military here to um um to uh, more bill kills speaking of gold to, to secure those gold mines but anyways yeah it's i still think it's an awkward position more more dwarf kills dude more eco kills for rapple soup is halfway up through scotty by the way he is halfway up through scotty he's got some armory upgrades coming in for his military which is good rapple's gonna be on a second town center here pretty soon already getting a second gold mine outside of his base um which is really nice I, I like that, but Rappel, I really like how Rappel's playing here, man. I really like how Rappel's playing here. What's up, Asil? What's up? Update the scoreboard. Shoot, I did forget to give him a point, didn't I? Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, J-Touch. Sorry, but thank you. Yeah, with this, uh, with the... Uh... Whoa! How did I miss that? 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 Rappel's already up through Brocky. How did I miss that? I completely missed that. Rappel's up through Broggy, and he's already up through Tier. He's already up through Tier. He knows. Tier, well, I mean, Tier, Tier probably is going to be brutal, dude. First of all, he's going to be able to use Flimble, Flimble Winter Flaming weapons together, which is going to be completely brutal for, uh, for Soup. But also, Soup's economy is just completely ravaged, man. It's completely ravaged, so... I mean, what's... Eh, is he going to be able to find a lot of value here with Nidhogg? Not really, because his economy is, you know... Uh, Eh, you know, I guess Fimblewinter hits the economy as well, but still, it spawns. Yeah, I think that Fimblewinter probably going to be uh, worse for the economy compared to uh, compared to Hell, but, you know, we'll see here. A third town center going up for Rappel. Jesus, man. Loki, man. Loki. 
Loki Odinson. What do you guys think? Can Soup can Soup hold out? I mean, Frost is good. He's getting Thundering Hooves. He's getting Medium Cavalry. If he can maybe defend against the Fimble Winter and maybe Frost the Flaming Weapons, he can maybe survive um, for a bit, but he's just getting further and further behind as, as Rappel takes Town Center. Rappel already took a back fucking Town Center and he's taking the forward one as well. Rappel's going to be on four Town Centers compared to... Uh, okay, so Rap Soup's on two, Soup is on two, and boom, Flaming Weapons, Fimple Winter, the immediate usage. Look at that, look at that, look at that. The immediate usage from Rappel. He doesn't want to give Soup the slightest chance, or as one of my um, Greek friends would just say, the sliciest chance. <laughs> doesn't want to give him the sliciest chance to frost the Flaming Weapons, and not a big fan of this of this move here, Rappel. I know Rappel, Rappel's very aware of the, um, usually Rappel's the one on the Odin side, um, defending against, um, or, or wanting to use Ragnarok, but I think he's going for the town center just in case, just in case uh, Ragnarok is incoming. He wants to make sure that doesn't actually happen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Rappel is on another fucking level right now. Did you see that? As soon as the Fimble Winter finished, he knew that Frost was coming in, so he immediately separated his army. Dude, I mean, it's not that brilliant, but just the immediacy at which he reacted. Rappel is just on another fucking level, and he forces Soup, I mean, Soup uses the Frost to try and catch those, catch all of the units, but he only gets a handful of them. What amazing, amazing gameplay from Rappel here. That's the one that says that's awesome. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable play here from Rappel. Unbelievable play here from Rappel. He is on fire. Fire! Jump in the fire! That was bad vocals, but what's that song? Anybody know? Anybody know? Anybody know? I don't, I don't, uh, there's no chance in hell. Uh -huh. There's no chance in tear that Soup comes back from this, man. Raffle is on point. He's ahead by three town centers. He's on point. He already has just immediate um, Salt Amphora upgrades on his fish. Rappel's on fire, man. Rappel wants to go to the finals. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Um, he, Rappel has been disappointed in himself in his previous Fimble Winter um, performances, and he is looking for the finals. Um, Matrius, Shadowfax, Redo, uh, those are the three players up on the top side of um, the top side of the bracket. You guys better come. be watching. Dude, <laughs> seriously. Chin Chinchilla uh, Loco is gonna come. I know, dude, seriously. Dude. Matrius, Shadowfax, and Redu, you guys better put on your big boy pants because Rappel's coming for you, man. Rappel is coming for you. I thought that I was really skeptical of him going for the Loki pick here. I was really, really skeptical since Soup played Thor. I mean, chose Thor. Um, you know, again, we've been talking about Thor having the better eco here, the this, the that, the double gold, starting gold bun, yada, yada, yo. But still, Rappel is just executing so well what the right fuck now. is going on here? I know, Dalson. I know. Rappel is on fire right now, dude. He is on fire. I think it's a mixture. Soup seems to be, you know, Soup seems to be just be struggling in general. Rappel's on fire. Soup seems to be struggling. It doesn't feel like Soup's playing how he typically is, how he, how he typically um. would, man. Jesus. Rappel just powerhousing his way through the semifinals. Soup saving food for the loser bracket, bro. Jokes on jokes on you, Hells, or jokes on soup. There ain't no losers bracket, man. So just like that, Rapple goes up two to zero in a very, very convincing fashion. This is just on point gameplay, man. The rapidness, the, the agility at which Rappel, boom, boom, God power combination, God power combination, boom, separates his army um, uh, to prevent the frost. Just excellently done. He forces a little bit of a, you know, he drops the dock over here, forces Soup to react um, and, you know, invest resources into taking out the dock. 
That gives him time to build up over here. He completely takes over the fish over on this side. He gets a good Broggy timing, which I didn't even see. I didn't even see that he was going up through Broggy. I wasn't paying good enough attention. Nice macro, you know, sending, splitting up his gold as he did. Nice macro, just good rating. He had really nice rating. He did get a little bit, you know, lucky with the with the Einhuyar spawns inside of Soup's base. That was a little bit lucky, right? That was a little bit lucky. When there's no defense there, having those Einhuyar are definitely a lot more threatening than like a troll, for example. Anyways. He did get, you know, I'm not going to say luck, although, you know, it is the Herser spawns, the Mythianus they spawn, it is fairly lucky, but, you know, fortunate, I guess, is a better is a better word. He was fortunate to get the Anhyar spawns, but even if they were troll spawns, dude, he still would have just barreled over a suit, man. This is, uh, this is, he's gunning for the, he's gunning Yo, for the finals, man. Hero. Rock, dude. You're right at Rahawk, you're late, dude. Soup Rapples almost into the finals already. <laughs> that frost dodge was pretty yum, dude. That frost dodge was ultra, ultra sick. Ultra sick. Let's look at the post game real quick. Like Soup even had a, a good KD, you know? He even had a good KD, but just for some reason he just he was just constantly chasing, constantly chasing, constantly chasing. Right? He was constantly chasing, uh, constantly reacting to Rapple. Soup just never had civilian units popping out. I'm just, man, very beastly play here from Rapple. Very beastly play. Wow. Let's go into game number three, people. Soup is, this is Soup's last chance, man. This is Soup's last chance to go to make, well, it's not his last chance, but if Soup loses this next game, then that means he's, you know, he's out of the finals and he gets, um, he's, he can still fight for the bronze match. The loser of this game um, can fight for the bronze match. So that is something, that is something. But he's definitely on the ropes, man. He's got to pull out a win. Otherwise, oh boy, oh really boy. Alrighty, people. Holy smokes. That's all I gotta say. We got Rapple sticking with Loki here. Did you, can you imagine that? Rapple sticking with Loki. He's not even... If Rapple takes the, wins this game, that means he wins the best of five with pure Loki. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. Rapple went Odin in game number one. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, Hannah. Much appreciated. That goes to you as well, Rahawk, Metallo as well. Thanks, everybody. Much appreciated. Um, Count says, uh, Rapple rocking hard. Oh, dude, Count. Rapple is uh, rocking the Casbah, that's for sure. Rapple against Matrice in the finals? Possibly, dude. Much possibly. You say, relax. Rapple, Rapple is playing out of his mind, you know, the, the past couple of weeks. Um, uh, you know, Matrius has been, he was the only player to win all five of his series from the, from the first day, uh, first phase. So we could possibly see a rap against Matrius in the finals. Anyways, let's, let's get into this game. Let's get into this game. So we can say we're going to come. We are indeed going to come tomorrow. We are already coming today, but tomorrow as well, everybody. <laughs> with uh, lots of exceptional players playing tomorrow as well. Anyways, okay, so let's get into this game. Rapple, Rapple going Loki. So he, to kind of backtrack a little bit, game one, he played Odin and then Loki, Loki, back to back now. Um, interesting that he goes for uh, Loki here. I'll talk about that more in just a second. Um, let's go over to Soup's side. So Soup is actually sticking with um, Thor, which is very interesting. Um, Thor on Alfheim. What? Where did that come from? I'm not sure. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Soup, 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 soup. What is happening here? He's going for bud bears. Dude, yeah, Alfheim, Thor on Alfheim. Why? Oh, that's a funny little transition there. Why Thor on Alfheim? This is a nice relic right here. Increase the attack of um, Ulsarks. That's nice. It's not like you make a ton of Ulsark because it's Thor against, um, uh, against Loki, but hey, screw it, why not? How many subs today? Need a sub counter. Oh, I'm not worried about the sub counter. I think we got three, though. I can keep track in my head. So Soup is going with, with Thor on Alfheim. Why? This is, once again, everybody, um, this is Soup's map pick. He lost game number two, and so he, this is his map pick. Why? I don't see, I don't see Thor as a strong pick on Alfheim. 
the the hunt is typically not that impressive um as you can see you know he starts off with a couple of couple of caribou he finds a couple of caribou outside of his base that's nice sure okay um but uh, you know uh, I guess it's the gold. The gold is the gold can be decent, but you know there's still plenty of opportunity for Loki Heimdall action. Oh, dude, does Soup see this? Look, 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 look. There's a hunt patch over on that right side. I don't think Soup sees that. His cow just—he was um, scouting with this cow, but he's luckily he finds that gold mine, and the gold mine technically finds that deer. Super lucky for Soup right there. But I don't, I, I, dude. Like, what are the chances he's actually gonna look right here and see the deer? Now it's even gone out of you know since it's not next to that uh, gold mine anymore. If Soup finds that, that is gonna be huge for Soup if he finds that. He huge for Soup if he finds that. Now, I wanna finish my thought about the god pick here. I would say, um, in fact, in Fimble Winter 3, um, Rappa was choosing, he was playing, you know, his his Odin pick, of course. This is a nice relic, increased villager hit points. Yes, very nice, of course. Um, Rappel in Fimble Winter 3, his his main home map that he was picking in all of his games was Alfheim. Uh, but he would play Odin on it. He would play Odin on it. And so, um, you know, you, the, using Great Hunt anywhere on cows, on, on cows, on, you know, on a hunt spot, on a mixture of the two, um, in my opinion, that's kind of what bumps up Odin as maybe the, has having a little bit of an advantage or preference, in my opinion, on this map is because of because of the Great Hunt potential, right? Um, but he ends up going for Loki, which is interesting. The I mean, by all means, there's... Um, if there's enough hunt, if there's just enough food that you can, you know, make a, a good solid number of hers here, that, you know, Hall of Thanes is definitely, um, you know, really dangerous by all means. Anyways, long story short, I'm just, the, the, the Thor pick for soup is just sketchy. And oh my God, this is, uh, speaking of sketchy, soup decides, oh, dude, dude, Rappel, let's see, let's see how on point Rappel is, everybody. Let's see how on point Rappel is. Oh my god, he sees the hunt. He sees the hunt of soup. See what I'm saying? The hunt is just not reliable. You are my hero! <laughs> look, 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 look. Maiden, my favorite turkey streamer. Thanks for casting, dude. Okay, you see what I'm saying? He gets kicked off of food. Anyways, 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 back into this game. So hang on just a second. Um, Tease, hang on just a second. So he gets kicked off of food. That was ballsy going for um, going for the hunt forward like that. Um, I think it was sometimes, A, you know, with no risk, high risk comes high reward, I guess. He took the risk and unfortunately Rappel sent his troll that way. Bummer for soup, man. Bummer for soup. And he doesn't he doesn't know about the about the deer over there. He doesn't know about the deer. What a bummer. What a big fat bummer, man. Oh, Rappel's, Rappel was able to take his deer. This is actually Rappel's caribou over here, so eventually he can go over there, but I think he wants to go to the chickens and berries after that. Continue continue that food income. Make sure he gets the um, the uh, his Hersier numbers just continually going out. Soup went, so, okay, so Soup actually went... Um, ah... That's right. I remember soup against who? <laughs> soup against who? Is it soup against Yoshi? I think it was maybe soup against Yoshi. Um, uh, soup went Thor. Yoshi went Loki, and soup went for Thor in order to play um, for Seti and try and go for early armory upgrades. Soup's been doing that a lot in the past several um, rounds of this tournament. He's been trying to go for. Um, for early uh, early armory upgrades with Thor, um, he did it on uh, Mediterranean is kind of the the popular map to use it on. Anyways, um, oops, sorry, dude. It's viable, I think. It's viable, but but your Thor Hersir are just a teensy bit slower, even with Hall of Thanes. Your Thor Hersir are just a teensy bit slower than the Loki ones. So even so, you might have you, it might be easier to get that at, you know initial your your armory upgrades, but you're still you're still typically just chasing, chasing, chasing after um, after the Hersir of, of Loki. I've never quite felt comfortable doing that um, in you know in my day. He's he's starting to swap over to some throwing axemen. Not a okay. Not a bad idea here. Not a bad idea. Okay. Rappel needs to be careful. Those 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 hers here. A couple of weak hers here. There is he gonna lose them? 
Boom, loses one, just about losing the second. Okay. This is hilarious. Rapple dropping his houses up on this top side. Is the troll going to pay attention? Just passing. Nice. Okay. He actually picks up the old Sark. This is it for Soup, people. This is it for Soup. Soup has to pull off this strategy. Otherwise, he's out of... Otherwise, he's... Well, he's not out of the tournament. Otherwise, he... Um, he's out of the grand finals. He gets bumped down to the... Bumped down to the bronze match. So, by all means, whoever loses this series... Whoever loses this series still has opportunity to win prize money and, you know, well, all of the prizes, etc. They're out of the... They're out of the grand final. They're out of the grand final. Fourth place doesn't get prize money, people. Fourth place doesn't get prize money. Okay. Soup's resources starting to look pretty good. Starting to look pretty good. I think he's targeting, definitely targeting Heroic Age. He has stopped production from his buildings, yes. And he's targeting Heroic Age. Dude, Soup has been a little unlucky with this wood with this wood placement. Um, Rapples in, in Anatolia and now here on, on Alfheim. Boom, Bill pick. Um, Anatolia and then now on Alfheim. He's had tr struggles with his, with his wood eco. Rapples been getting lots of vil kills on, on the wood lines of, of Soup. He's got a bunch of relics. I want. Let's check him out. I know he got the Pygmalion statue, increased villager hit points. That's really nice. Uh, Tail of Cerberus, Myth units use their special attacks more often. That could be really sick once he gets Frost Giants out. That could be really sick once he gets Frost Giants out. And then the Odin Spear for uh, better attack on his on his old Sarks. Yeah, it looks like both of the players uh, looking for Heroic Age. We got Scottian coming for uh, Soup as soon as this uh, Dwarf finishes. Rapple's getting close, but he's still, you know, five, 550 food. He's, he's getting close, but still needs some time to get up heroic. Nice defense from Soup there. Not quite getting a, not quite getting a Herser kill, but still. Nice defense, nice defense. Now, um, real quick, I want to mention something. Um, man, just really nice play from Rapple. He's, he, he, I think he probably, with those two Herser, probably could pick off those throwing Axemen and then go for uh, the wood line after that. Um, I real quick want to mention gold, man. Boom, we got Bragian coming for Rapple, Mr. Loki player. Okay, real quick. Um, is Rapple taking a town center? No, 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 he's not taking a town center. Um, gold mine situation for Soup is a little bit sketchy, A, eh? It's a little bit sketchy. That gold mine is just about out. He's got about 400 left over. Nice iron spawn there. Nice iron spawn. Rapple gets a couple throwing Axemen picks. Not, not too wonderful, not too shabby, however. Yeah, no armory upgrades for soup. I thought he was maybe going for the early armory upgrades. Anyways, um, the gold situation. So he's his gold mine is just about out. His second gold mine is this one down here. And actually, Rapple is the one who found these deers and ended up um, killing the deers so that soup doesn't get them. Dude, Rapple is just ruthless today, people. He's ruthless. His army is headed down um, this way. It is spied. It is spied, Mr. Oswald there. Now, now Soup is going to see the deer right there, and he's going to just be face-palming himself so hard. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Anyways, there's the Frost Giant. Don't He doesn't want to lose that Frost Giant. This is going to be huge for Rapple if he picks this off. This, especially since Baraki just coming in right now. Boom, there goes a the Frost Giant. That's a blunder. Oh! Yeah, he's going down. Is he going down? Boom, there he goes. That's a little blunder for Soup, man. That's a little blunder for Soup. I'm telling you, Rapple, again, it's these it's these little things not having in a top-level play, especially when Rapple is just on fucking fire. Losing your Frost Giant like that unnecessarily. Soup is just not quite... It's, it's not quite... It's not quite feeling like Soup, you know? Not quite feeling like soup here. Okay, he does have a wall up, which is really good. Soup has got tons of resources. He's going for a town center. I thought he would go for a hillport here, but he's going for the town center. Interesting. Rapple says, take your town center, take your gold. I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? What is Rapple gonna do? Rapple's gonna take a town center himself. Okay, that's what Rapple's gonna do. Well, actually, Soup doesn't realize. Um, remember, we can see the line of sight from both players. So Rapple knows that this is open right here, but Soup doesn't. Soup doesn't. Soup probably still sees black all right there um, uh, from the fog of war. Anyway, so this economy is still very much um, exposed. Soup does go to try and take the deer um, anyway. It's a little bit, a little bit uh, strapped for cash, you could see. Say strapped for stakes, I suppose. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. 
Okay, there is the wall there. There's the wall there for um, a nice retreat on soup side. What? But the wall doesn't go all the way to the side, and so that Herser right... Oh, what a bummer, dude. The Herser can still get through. Um, get through that little... Oh! And he gets an Einherjar spawn on that. Unbelievable, dude. Rappel has just been... I don't want to say luck because he's playing so well, but it helps when you get Ein spawns in situations like that. Um, you know, hitting the hitting the food the those those wood chiapas right there as well. Okay, so both players on two town centers. Uh, Soup just I suppose Soup Soup's got a a a Soup's got seventeen hundred food gold man. Soup's got seventeen hundred gold. If he can drop a market a s a p, he's got no wood in the bank. However, of course he's got no wood in the bank. He's been um, you know uh, harassed, harassed, harassment right there um, on this wood line. If he can drop his um, what's it called? If he can drop a market immediately, he has potential to jump up Ragnarok and maybe take this game. Rapple, however, is doing a little switcherooski. Gonna hit this gold mine over here. Oh boy, oh really boy. Now look, Ra Soup is out of position, dude. Soup is out of position. Does he know? Does he know? Does he know? He's gotta know that, that whole well wigged out. Dude, Soup is almost mythic. Soup is not almost mythic, Teresa. <laughs> Look at all this eco right here. So much eco that potentially gonna go down. No dwarf picks. Maybe that one dwarf guy going down right there. Okay, so one dwarf pick, but still. He's sure he has 2,000 gold in the bank, but still he's got no food, dude. He's got no food. And now Rappel is back on this wood line again. Jesus H. Christ on a bike. He is super just getting smoked on his wood lines, dude. He's getting smoked on his wood lines. Now Rappel using flaming weapons he knows he's gonna get frosted right there but that does give him the opportunity to continue the flaming weapons attack right here get a really sick uh raid one two three four five at least five uh picks plus the ox cart there that is just gonna slow down soup more and more and more not being able to drop his does he have a market let me i'm gonna do a quick scan around his base see if he has a market i don't see a market anywhere i don't see a market anywhere I don't see a market anywhere yeah, no market anywhere for soup. So once again, his um, his economy just getting smoked. He needs to buy up and go mythic. The longer this game goes on, Rappel's looking better and better and better. He's got good um, good good farm numbers. Only plow, which is a bummer. He's got good farm numbers, double town center, couple of gold spots. The longer this game goes on, I think it's gonna be better and better for Rappel um, because soup just doesn't soup doesn't have um, he doesn't have any farms, man. He's got a shitload of gold in the bank, but he doesn't he can't buy it. He can't or sell it. He can't buy resources. He can't sell it. Nice one, two, three, four, four. Battle Boars gets a Battle Boar spawn there. Frost Giants, man. Frost Giants just aren't there for Thoop. And so all these throwing axemen are sick. There's so many hers here, but the Battle Boars, two of the Battle Boars are down. Okay, sure. A third one um, coming in. A Frost Giant coming in. This. Uh, 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 there's, there's just too many myth units. There's too many myth units. The heavy throwing axemen are sick. They have one armory upgrade, but it's just too many myth units. Okay, fine. There's two, what, two frost giants in there finally? Just imagine, imagine if he had another frost giant that he didn't lose earlier. Imagine, imagine if Soup also had Woody Go that was actually functioning the entire time. Hunter's Axe coming in for throwing Axemen. That's going to be really sick, but he needs a market, man. He needs a market. Finally dropping some farms. It's about that gum time. Soup, buddy. You got to get your shit together, bud. You gotta get your sh shit together, otherwise Rappel is just going to sh just shotgun himself into the finals. 2300 gold for crying out loud. More longhouses coming down. Imagine if Soup had a had a imagine if Soup had a um Imagine if he had if he had a market man and he could buy resources a little bit, buy resources, get more upgrades, get more armory upgrades. He's got a couple. I mean, he has got a strong throwing axemen, but still, there's just so many dadgum myth oh units out here. <laughs> All Maiden wants is a burn, burn, burn. Fire. Burn, burn, burn. A Nidhogg fire. A Nidhogg fire. I don't have a deep enough voice like Cash to actually do that, but I do want a ring of fire, man. I want a burn, burn, burn. A Nidhogg fire. Or a fire, giant fire. Or a giant of fire. Anyways, yeah, just slowly. With all these battle wars, Rapple is slowly pushing closer to the town center of Rapple. Soup's now, oh god, oh god, now Soup's run out of gold, now he's down on this gold mine down here. Um, Rappel can just completely redirect, although he's looking sick here. Mountain Giant spawn, for Christ's sake, he can just continue fighting here, here, here. Maybe send a couple of units or something over to pick up that ox card. That ox card's really weak right there. 
79 population to 132. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 battle boars, 2 frost giants, and a mountain giant. Holy smokes. Rappel just three zipped his way into the finals, people. He just three zipped oh, his I'm way. I'm so tilted. Dude. Chill out, dude. He just three zipped his way into the finals with Loki in two of the games. Dude. Brutal. I think this series. Super well played for Rappel. Super well played for Rappel. I think this series is what it comes down to. Rappel is on fire. He's on point. Two? I don't know, man. It just wasn't Soup's day, dude. It just wasn't Soup's day. He missed the deer. Remember the deer right here? He just barely missed the deer. Think of how different this game would have been if Soup was on come. this deer right here. Instead of being Billy Lotion on... underscore is gonna come. Dude, if you haven't already, Billy, then something's wrong with you because whoa, Rappel's gameplay is, is just titillating absolutely. Anyways, um yeah, Ouch, so that had to hurt. Soup went to the caribou way down here and got knocked off it, you know, almost right away. Bro. So imagine if he was over Do on the Do deer instead. Ceiling bat. <laughs> imagine if he was on the deer instead. He had that consistent food eco, blah 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 blah. Rappel's just exactly Yoshi, Yoshi. Yoshi played against Rappel in the quarterfinals. Stay Rappel's on fire. Absolutely, man. Um, I agree, dude. Yoshi, I agree, but... This didn't feel like soup, man. This didn't feel like soup. This didn't feel like soup. It didn't feel like soup. And Yoshi, when Yoshi, you played your games against Rappel, it didn't feel like Yoshi, man. It didn't feel like Yoshi. So actually, this is a really interesting... Um, I, let's, let's, let's wrap up this post game. I want to look at the post game. Um, real quick. Yeah, Super just the worst KD, man. The, all those battle bars, dude. All those battle bars. I thought that eventually... Remember that relic that Soup got? Uh, where is it? Remember this relic that he got? Myth units use their special attacks more often. That means that Frost Giants would freeze battle bars more often. I can't remember what the actual... How much faster um, yes. the special attacks are used. That's awesome! <laughs> Yellow <laughs> Snow Cone 41 says that's awesome. Dude, Teresa, the power of Suvlaki, exactly. Rapple prepping with, you know, diet. Hey, I actually have commentary on that, but hang on. Hang on. So, Soup never got the proper Frost Giant spam going, right? Eventually he had one, eventually he had two, you know, but he, but, but Rapple was just pumping out battle bores, like, you know, his life depended on it. Um, and he was able to pick off the frost giants fast enough of soup. So, oops, sorry, Toby. Um, I think that, I think that soup just never was able to kind of do what he wanted to do. You know, he never did what he wanted to do. He just, ah, ah, he, he you know, by all means, having, having the wood up on this top side, so exposed. And then the gold mine down here, I think he, you know, he kind of created problems for himself. He created problems for himself, but, you know, it's still, it was, it was, it's, again, it's a combination of uh, Rappel being on point. He was getting the double raids going at the same time, um, getting good raids on the wood line, just after one after another after another. Um, he got favorable myth unit spawns, Honor here, here, there, Battle War here, there, etc. It's just, it's just a combination of, <laughs> soup didn't, it didn't feel like soup today. And, you know, Rappel, it was feeling, Rappel wasn't feeling like Rappel, dude. Rappel was feeling like, you know, I don't know who. Super Saiyan Rabble. In all fairness, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm a little weirded out with the Thor pick here. It's a bummer that he, you know, had to go so far forward for the food. I don't know. Just wasn't, just wasn't Soup's day. It just wasn't Soup's day. What was I, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Oh, that's right. Okay, so I have, I have a couple of thoughts here. I have a couple of additional thoughts that I personally find interesting. So, um, a lot of you guys, maybe, maybe you do, maybe you don't. A lot of you guys might be familiar with, um, the Age of Empires 2 tournament called Hidden Cup. Uh, does that ring a bell for some of you guys? 
Expo, um, Hidden Cup is one of the most prominent, prestigious, prestigious, would you call prestigious? One of the most prominent. Um, indeed, Mahdi, indeed, indeed, uh, market. He never ended up dropping a market. Anyways, the Hidden Cup, um, Hidden Cup is an Age of Empires 2 tournament, one of the, one of the most prestigious tournaments, um, that they have. Um, one of the most prestigious tournaments that they have, um, and essentially, it's like a smurf tourney, where it's the top players who are playing, and, you know, instead of playing under your normal name, like Matrius against Rappel or whoever, it, you're given a smurf name. And so it would be, you know, I don't know, it would be James Bond against, I don't know, you know, Goldfinger, whatever. You're given, you're given anonymous names, so, so that means the players don't know who they're playing against. And the reason why the the person who hosted it, um, or hosts it, Hidden Cup 5 is right around the corner, that's partially why it's on the mind. Um, T90, the streamer, um, he hosted it because there's a player, the Viper, which a lot of people probably know, the Viper was, um, he was just completely dominating um, the Age of Empires 2 scene. Kind of like Magnus, um, Carlson with chess, um, you know, and then Smagyar at different times, Starsky and Age Mythology at different times, etc. And he was just unbeatable. He was unbeatable. And T90, as a caster, he was noticing that whenever players would play against Viper, they would just fall apart. They would just fall apart, fall apart, fall apart. Um, because because the, the prestige, the intimidation of, of um, playing against the Viper, they would just, they wouldn't play to their full potential. So... I wonder, uh, you know, I wonder, not that, not that Rappel is this foreboding, you know, maybe he is now, but it's not like, it's not like Rappel's, um, you know, the unbeatable goat yet. Um, but I wonder, I wonder if part of that is just, you know, uh, kind of like the players would in AoE 2, they were never able to play their game. They were always kind of just yeah, off, off their game. They were always off their game, um, and that's partially what allowed Viper to just be so dominant. So I wonder if, you know, these these series, Yoshi in the quarterfinals and now Soup, it didn't feel like Yoshi, it didn't feel like Soup, and I wonder if part of that is, no, I mean, is, is Rappel's something about Rappel's gameplay right now? He's just disallowing, he's preventing, he's disallowing his opponents from actually getting, you know, their feet underneath them and getting rolling and playing their own game, playing their own style and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know, but it's just, it's just not feeling, you know, it's not feeling like, like soup, just not feeling like Yoshi. It's not feeling like Rapple, man. Rapple has turned on, he's turned on the, the overdrive, he's turned on the jets and he's, he's dead serious about taking this tournament. It's fucking sick. I met Viper in the ladder. I choked hard because I knew who I was playing against. Exactly, Rappel. Rappel's, Rappel was at Age of Empires 4 or Age of Empires 2. Probably AoE 4. Viper was playing some AoE 4. Anyway, so Rappel says himself, I met I met the Viper on the AoE 4 ladder. I choked hard because I knew who I was playing against. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, the, 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 the metaphor here, the comparison is not exactly the same because, sorry, Rappel, but you are not the equivalent of um, the Viper. Anyways, but still, you still, you guys get my point is that, you know, Apple's playing on point, but if if his opponents are just allowing him, I'm sorry, Soup. I'm sorry, Yoshi. I'm sorry. You guys are sick players. I'm sorry, but still, um, he's playing on point. But if you're allowing him to play on point, then you know you're just, just going to lose games. You're just going to lose games. So, anyways, um, yes. Having said that, my other thought real quick before we jump over um, into a call with Rappel, my other thought real quick is that um, I think that uh, Teresa, when Teresa says Suvlaki for the win, seriously, I was just listening to a, a chess podcast actually. I was just listening to a chess podcast yesterday. Um, one of the top, one of the top chess players. He's an American player. Um, Fabiano Caruana, he was talking about um, training for world championships and whatnot, and as part of their training regimen for a world champion is going to the gym and nutrition. He talked a little bit about training Norse, uh, training Norse, God, <laughs> training chess, 
you know, different lines, different lines of chess and openings and this and different ideas and whatnot with their, with this with his team in preparation. But the but but the two things that he actually talked more about was nutrition and exercise. So. And this is actually another Age of Empires 2 example. Um, Tato, he's a he's a Spanish top Spanish player. He's a top player from Spain. Um, he noticed that once he started going to the gym and kind of getting his body in a little bit better shape, he started to his mind felt more clear and he was able to perform at a at a higher level. I think that's you know I don't know if if I don't know if Rappel's necessarily doing that, but you know there is power in Souflaki. I suppose that's the point. There's power in Souflaki. And having said that, most of you guys know I've been having some some stomach issues, some diet digestion stomach issues recently. I've been not not intentionally, but kind of unintentionally, I've been following a little bit of a Mediterranean style diet, um, and it's it is helping. So maybe there's something to the to the to Medit. Hey, maybe there's something to it. When is the next match? The next match, yeah, Flynn. So um, the next match is the quarterfinals tomorrow. We have the quarterfinals um, uh, between Matrius and Shadowfax at 20 GMT, and directly after that, we have Redo playing the winner of that semifinals. Okay.